ask Tom on home show. Pamela from Canton, Ohio has a question about shiplap insulation. Yeah, Tom, she, she's doing some renovations and she wants your advice. She writes, we had the new, a new addition put on the front of the house with a metal roof. And on the interior, we have scissor trusses I'd like to keep visible for decor purposes. Uh, between each scissor truss, I'd like to pack some, put some shiplap and leave the trusses exposed. My question is, how do I insulate under the shiplap for the best possible R value in the Canton, Ohio area? Well, with Canton, Ohio, they're probably going to require, I'm going to assume an R40. I mean, you could look it up and Google it pretty easily. You're looking for an attic insulation R value. And I'm going to assume it's going to be at least a 40, maybe a 42. It could be all the way to an R48. And if that's the case, no matter what, with all of those, you're looking at 16, 18, 20, 24 inches of insulation, which is usually laid down on the floor of the... Uh, of the attic space against the skin of the of the room which is usually a sheetrock ceiling now a scissor truss is meant to have a cathedral ceiling on the inside but the trusses are hidden if you wanted to insulate and shiplap in between the two you really couldn't because the shiplap's going to have to go all the way up against the the rafters well not the rafters but the the purlins as we call them or the wood decking that hold, that is the bottom side of what the metal roof is attached to, depending how they did it. Now, you could put a little styrofoam in there and get an R10 or an R12, but it's still going to be a couple inches, and you're going to lose the look of your scissor truss. The whole idea about a scissor truss is it's not flat across the bottom, but it's got a vault on the inside as well as a bigger triangulation on the top side, and that way it allows you to have some room for insulation, but yet still get that vaulted look inside the room, which is really nice. But the trusses cannot be exposed. So my answer is this. If you want to see the scissor truss, you're not going to be able to insulate. And the shiplap would have to go up against the bottom of the roof decking or the purlins, however they were put, put in. And it's going to have to be attached that way so the scissor trusses stay exposed. And so you're not going to be able to do both. So I'd recommend you probably just shiplap the bottom of the scissor truss. Forget about looking at them. Go ahead and enclose them. Put the right insulation in there and still get that, that, uh, that cathedral look on the inside. And if you want to do some fake trim truss work in there, you could. It'll cost you more money and you'll have to have a good trim carpenter to do it. But we used to do all kinds of fake or faux trusses inside a room to make it look like they were real. But they really weren't. But they look mm -hmm. pretty cool if you, if you did it right. Yeah, especially if you want to go for like a, 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 a get some of that architectural wood that they recover from from barns and stuff, and have that kind of look. Absolutely, Even or the though, big uh, big big cedar, and and, and you yeah. can do pick a lot if you want it finished or if you want the rough look. That old wood is beautiful from the old barns. Even though, as I was going to say, the design trends are away from that. They're saying that that old rustic barn look is out. And so a matter, it's a matter of taste or a matter of designers trying to make some money <laughs> that they say that, Tom. Well, but. and, and there's, there's places for it. You see it in a lot of commercial. I know that we had a, 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 an old uh, wood dealer on our show yeah. for a while. Right. And one of his biggest uh, clients were grocery stores. I think that they were the HEBs that uh, here in the, in the South where they were doing all, a lot of interior work for the, for the grocery stores out of that old lumber. Mm -hmm. We bought a bunch of it and we used it to create a set down in our, <laughs> yes, in our TV studio, and it looks uh -huh. great. It looks. Yeah. In fact, we just and I'll tell you what the the we had Rudy in today because we made some changes in the studio, and his guys love cutting on that old wood. I mean, it's just <laughs> it just cuts yeah. different. It it handles different, and uh, but yeah, that, so that's that's an option for her, I guess. Tom, she could go architectural on the wood and and get that look yeah. she wants, and do all kinds of different things. All right, you got a question? All you gotta do is go visit homeshowradio.com. Click on that Ask Tom, that blue Ask Tom button. It'll bring you to this page, and all you gotta do is either click on that form or click on the camera. You can send us a written question, a video question, attach a picture. Whatever makes you happy. And then we'll make you really smile because Tom will answer it in a video that we post every day. We post a new one every day at homeshowradio.com, our YouTube channel, of course, on our Facebook page.